Hey guys, I just want to go over some of the stuff that we talked about in class and just make sure that we're on the same page. Right? So this is the common, uh, uh, the common expression that you use for a linear line. Y equals mx plus c. Right? Now the m means gradient, which means how steep is the line, and c is the what we call the y-intercept, which is where the line crosses the y-axis, which is this vertical one here, right? So that's what we're looking at today. Uh, so, the first way to solve for gradient, right, is this expression here, y2 minus y1 take away x2 minus x1. You will need two points from your line to do that. So the second one is called rise divided by run. So I'll go through both of them and we'll find the y-intercept for this uh, graph here. So you can see that we have two points on this graph. One of them is um, where the, this, this line is crossing the y here, so that's actually the y-intercept. And that point is uh, 0, 1, because remember x comes first. So 0, 1 is that point, and then the other point is here, which is at 4 and 4. 4 and 4. Right? So I'll show you both ways of solving uh, for gradient right now. So we have the first one, we just arbitrarily assign these as x1, y1, x2, y2. It doesn't matter which point you do in what order, it will still work out the same. So do y2 take away y1. So y2 is 4 minus y1 is 1 divided by x2, which is 4 minus x1, which is 0. So that gives me 3, 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 minus 0 is 4. That gives me a gradient of 3 over 4. Um, and that's that's it. So, Or you can change it to 0 0.75 if you want. But 3 quarters is our gradient. Right? And that may seem a little bit confusing, but then I guess when you look at this other method, it starts to make some sense. My camera is just going nuts. Um, so... The second method is I look at the rise. So between these two points, how much has it gone up? And you're always measuring from left to right, and that's important later. I'll show you why. So between these two points, it's gone up from uh, 1 to 4. Right? So it's gone up from 1 to 4, which means it's gone up 3. Right? It's gone across from 0 to 4, which means the run is 4. The rise, 3, divided by the run, 4. See, we get the same gradient. Um, so in this case, our gradient is 3 over 4. Right? Our y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, and we already know that. It's at 1. Right? So that's our gradient and y-intercept for this one. But let's, let's look at a different example. Right? This one's a bit different. So again, we'll do gradient both ways, and we'll have a look. So the points that we have here, we have... Um, 0, 6 and um, 2, 0 right? so if we do our first gradient solving method let me make sure that you can see what I'm doing here we do our first gradient solving method I'll do it over here we do x1, y1, x2, y2 y2, which is 0, minus y1, which is 6, divided by x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is 0. 0 minus 6 is negative 6, 2 minus 0 is 2, which means that my gradient is negative 3. Right? Um, and I can do the same with rise over run. So between these two points, remember to always measure from left to right. Um, I'm looking here, the first point is up here. How much does it rise between here and the next point? The answer is it doesn't rise, it actually goes down. So we represent that with a negative value. So the rise in this case, it goes from six to zero. So our rise, <coughs> sorry, our rise over run is negative six divided by our run. How much does it go across? It goes across two. So our answer is negative three. So that's our gradient. Our y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. So in this case, it's 6. All right. 
I hope that makes sense. Have a good day.